So if you went to the gas station to fill up over the weekend, you probably noticed a couple different things. One, you're paying more and more to fill up your tank lately, and some gas stations were even running out of gas. Yeah, that's right. KTSM 9 News reporter Carla Draxer, she joins us live in Can Montillo, and she has some answers for all of us. Carla. Well, Andy and Natasia, we actually just finished fueling up our KTSM unit. We have a Dodge here. We filled up about a half of our tank. That's 10.7 gallons right there. $43 is what we paid. So that's about over $80 for a full tank of gas for just our unit. And you can imagine that's quite of a hefty price for someone to pay, especially if they're driving around a lot. Uh, I got to talk to a local economics professor who explains why exactly we're seeing these, this increase at the pump. More pain at the pump for El Pasoans. We don't always fill the tank. We just put enough to get us to the next gas station that we know is cheaper. El Paso's average gas price per gallon exceeding the national average. En tiempo y en, en la economía si nos, nos pega en el bolsillo. And gas stations across town running out of gas. Uh, we didn't get any um, uh, until today, actually. A local gas station owner saying the local refinery experienced issues on Thursday, so they had to shut the pump down over the weekend. But as far as prices go, he says... Uh, it'll come down. It'll come down. It's just normal. Albasuans saying they shop around and have changed their driving habits. We were at Sam's right now, but there was a big line. So if I was there, I would have filled the tank. But we don't want to wait that long, so here I'm only, I'm only going to get a little bit. But still wondering, why is El Paso the most expensive place to buy gas in entire Texas, currently by nearly 50 cents? Y pensaríamos que por tener la refinería aquí va a estar más barato y sin embargo está más caro. UTEP economics professor says because of El Paso's rapid industrial and commercial expansion causing more demand for fuel, higher gas prices are actually a good sign. The silver lining to this is that uh, it's, be, it's a consequence of strong economic conditions here locally. And, you know, that's something that, that most of us are willing to live with. Still the increase, leaving little choice for many, depending on gas. What choice do you have? You have the choice to get it at that price or not get fuel at all. Well, we are going to see these prices, unfortunately, stick around with us for another couple of weeks. That's at least what Professor T Fullerton is telling me. But we can expect traditionally to prices of gas to go down after Labor Day. However, he says you will still see El Paso's gas prices remain above the national average. Reporting live in Canutillo, I'm Carla Draxler. Back to you guys.